Hi there, Chris, Chapman the Cap Moto Legends. Here today to talk to you about a brand new armor, a D3O ghost-like armor from Sastec. It's an armor called Phantom. Now I know that a lot of our customers think that we come into work here every day and all we do is dream up schemes to remove more money from their pockets. Well, I've got to tell you, that's absolutely not the case. We close on Mondays. But what I do admit is that we're always looking for exciting and new products. And some people may not be happy with what we're gonna talk about today, but I think we've done it again. We found a fantastic new armor. It's a step up, but what's gonna upset some people is it comes just 12 months after D3O released their ghost armor. D3O's Ghost armor is pretty amazing. It's lighter, thinner, and more comfortable than the standard D3O that went before it, yet it offered exactly the same level of protection. And most people who tried it out in a jacket, maybe in their shoulders and elbows, or in their pants, said exactly the same thing. You simply cannot tell that you're wearing armor. It was only ever those who wanted the higher level two armor who didn't take Ghost. But 12 months is a long time in the motorcycle world, and now there is a new armor that we want to talk about. But before I go on to talk about it in detail, I just want to explain the differences for those who don't know between level one and level two. Now, there is a CE test for armor. Level one, what they do, in fact, in both tests, what they do, they drop a five kilogram weight from a height that delivers a, an impact of 50 joules. To pass the level one test, the energy that is transmitted through the armor has to be less than 35 kilonewtons. For level two, it's the same 50 joules that is impacted upon the armor and it has to transmit less than 20 kilonewtons. Now, I'm no physicist, but that sounds to me as though level two is almost twice as energy absorbing as level one. So without a doubt, level two is a more protective standard. But the problem has always been that level two has been uncomfortable and bulky and wasn't nice to wear. So, for example, here's a piece from Halvarsson's, typical of level two. It's really hip, heavy and stiff. You wouldn't want to wear this armor in your jeans because if it's out of place when you get off the bike and it drops down, it's just going to be uncomfortable to wear. This new armor that we're going to talk about today, Phantom Armor from Sastec, really has moved the game on. So I'm really sorry if you've recently purchased Ghost Armor because, as I said, it only came out 12 months ago. But even Moto Legends cannot stand in the way of progress. This new armor is simply even more amazing. This is the new Phantom Armor. Every bit as flexible in our view and soft to wear as Ghost Armor. What do you need to know? First, it's here on the shelf. We sold a huge amount of D3O's Ghost when it first came out. We think there'll be a lot of people who want to upgrade to this armor, so we've bought into it in a fairly big way. So we've got enough certainly to see us through until Christmas. If we sell out, obviously we'll buy some more. For now, it's totally exclusive in the UK to Moto Legends. In terms of price, we think the price is incredibly fair. It's $29.99 for a set of knees or a set of hips. Just so that you know, knee armor and elbow armor are normally the same in a garment and hip armor is the same as shoulder armor. So for knees, you can read elbows, for hips, shoulders. So for a set of uh, knees or a set of hips, these are $29.99. I think that compares quite favorably with the ghost armor. That's obviously a level down. That was $24.99. So you're only paying an extra fiver to get a level two instead of a level one. If you want to go Velcro because your garment takes Velcro, um, their Velcro armor is $39.99, so it's a tenner more expensive. I think with Ghost, it was only a fiver more expensive, so you were paying $29.99 for a set of Ghost armor with Velcro. You're going to be paying $39.99 for a set of Phantom armor with Velcro. Before I go on and look at the armor in a bit more detail, I want you to clear up a confusion because there's a bit of a misconception out there. Now, we all know that D3O is the armor that is soft, warms up, and gets even softer as you're wearing it, and then hardens on impact. That's been likened to me as loose interlocking molecules, and when you impact them, they harden and create this hard surface that protects you, obviously, um, in the event of an accident. Now, 
a lot of people think that that's how ghost works and actually it doesn't so this doesn't have the non-newtonian structure i don't know what non-newtonian means but Ghost armor is known for its non-Newtonian structure. This does not work in the same way. This absorbs and dissipates energy by moving the energy around this honeycomb structure. So it's a different kind of armor. And the reason I mention that is that the new Phantom armor works pretty much in the same way. So it's different in its structure to D3O. Obviously, it doesn't look the same, but all these little nodules here, they're doing the same thing. They're dissipating the energy. So when you get a knock on here, it dissipates it through the armor and doesn't pass it on to the body. And obviously, it's doing that at the higher level too, and still in a package that is just unbelievably thin and light and easy. What's almost upsetting for those who recently bought a set of ghost armor is that they can very easily upgrade to the Phantom because it's pretty much the same size. So if I take a piece of ghost armor and a piece of Phantom armor, you can see it's pretty much the same size. Phantom's a little bit bigger, goes a little bit wider on the edges. Same here with the hips and shoulders, pretty much the same. We have tried this in a number of garments, in our Roka jeans, in a number of jackets, and we can pretty much always make it fit. It's a little bit wider, as we've seen, but by kneading it, by putting it into place, we've found that in 99% of cases, it works. Now, if you order a set and you find that in your garment, for whatever reason, or you just don't like the way it sits, if you don't like it, just send it back. Obviously, we'll give you a refund and we'll refund your, your PMP as well. In terms of the thickness of the armor, again, the Phantom's a little bit thicker, it's got to be said. So this measures a little bit over six mil, and the Phantom measures a little bit over nine mil. Now, one thing I've got to say before anyone asks is that no, I'm afraid we cannot do a Partex. If you bought Ghost Armor earlier on in the year, no, we don't really have a, um, a requirement for lots of secondhand Ghost Armor, so I'm afraid we cannot do a part exchange. Of course, what I've got to say is this armor will work in a whole variety of garments, not just in those garments that took D3O in the first place. Very much depends on what the garment is, how the armor was fixed into your garment. So it will have a pocket of some sort, and if this doesn't fit in that pocket, if it moves around in the pocket, then maybe it's not going to work. A lot of garments out there have Velcro. So any garment you have that takes Velcro, you can obviously buy this both pieces both sizes come come with velcro and this armor will fit in in there and obviously be completely secure so you have the option if you have a velcro armor and you're level one you can move up for level up to level two or if you've got level two already you can just move to level two and have armor that's much more comfortable so we just cannot see a downside with this armor it is amazing so that's pretty much it D3O set the bar about 12 months ago. They changed perceptions about armor, what it was like, how it worked, how comfortable it was to wear. But that was a whole 12 months ago. The competition has caught up and now Sastec has raised the bar again. So as I said, I'm very sorry, it's not our fault. We did not invent this armor. We didn't know it was coming along. We didn't know it was in development. We only learned about this a few weeks, weeks ago. So I'm sorry if you recently bought ghost armor it's great stuff but if you want to go to level two there's simply as we see it there's no trade-off with going to this armor it is simply amazing you need to see it you need to try it if you want to look at our complete collection of armor then visit the website motolegends.com if you'd like to learn more about the phantom armor then if you click on one of the links on the screen sometimes they're up there sometimes they're down there that will take you directly to the relevant page on our website there you can check out the spec in a bit more detail. You can check availability. And obviously, if you want to buy a set of Phantom Armour, you can do that there and then. Now, when you buy from us, we try to make the process as simple, straightforward, and risk-free as we possibly can. There's no delivery charge on any item of protective wear that you buy from us. Returns are totally free. And what's more, we give you a full 12 months in which to decide whether you do want to return something to us. We have the best price promise in the business. Now, John Lewis is rightly famed for its never only undersold price promise. We go one stage better. If you can find anybody selling anything that we sell, Sell at a price that is lower than ours, we will beat that retailer's price by a full 
If the retailer is in the EU and not in the UK, we will match their landed price. Now, there are a few terms and conditions, nothing particularly onerous, but if you are going to price beaters, I suggest you visit the website and just check out what those terms and conditions are. In the future, if you'd like to receive email bulletins from us about new products, then if you go to the website, at the top of every page, there's a piece of script that says newsletter sign up. If you click on there within seconds, you'll be in business. In future, you'll receive bulletins from us. If, however, you prefer to get your information videographically, that is to say in this form, we would be delighted if you want to become a subscriber to our YouTube channel. And you can do that by clicking on the button below. Now, we're still in 2020 before the end of the year. In other words, in just a few weeks time, we're gonna be giving away a bike to a YouTube subscriber. We're calling it a Steve McQueen tribute bike. It's based on a Mutt 125 machine. It's a lovely little cutie. You can read more about it on the front page of our website or on the home page of our YouTube channel. Finally, I'd like to make a little play for our shop here at Guildford. We are based about a mile from the centre of town, a mile from the railway station. Shop itself, as I've intimated, is quite small, but it's attached to our warehouse where we have more than two million pounds worth of stock arranged over three floors. Technically, that makes this the second largest motorcycle apparel shop in the UK. But we think that we are far more than just the amount of stock we have here in the building. We're all about service, we're all about personal fitting. If you want to check us out, visit Trustpilot. We have the highest five-star ranking in the business. When you come and see us, we'll serve you only the finest Italian Illy coffee, or we'll serve you a proper Yorkshire tea in a proper teapot. And who knows, if you're lucky, you might even get to sample one of Sean's mum's delicious motorcycle-shaped shortbread biscuits. Anyway, this has been Chris. I hope to talk to you again soon.